It's Monk and I'm hanging out today with Green Beverage for our Craft Beer of the Week and we're here with Eric at Black Warrior Brewing Company because this is now the start of Craft Beer Week, the very first Craft Beer Week in Tuscaloosa and along with Craft Beer Week and putting a focus on uh, some of the local craft beers in town. Also, they have collaborated. Black Warrior has collaborated with Druid City Brewing Company and Band of Brothers to create Rising Tide, which is our craft beer of the week. It's going to be available all week long, all over Tuscaloosa, uh, all of the, uh, the, the, the places where it's available on our website at 953thebear.com. And uh, also, you've got glasses that are going to be involved with this, t-shirts as well, just for going by and sampling and trying uh, all these different beers, and of course, the Rising Tide. So, Eric, like, it's a red pale ale. You guys kind of went for a, a crimson uh, effect with a rising tide. Now, I get a, a, a big hop presence on the nose when I'm smelling it. Yeah, you definitely get the aroma of that. Uh, we dry hopped with quite a bit of Cascade and Centennial hops. Mm -hmm. um, just really give it that kind of citrusy nose and to it, it. There is, a, yeah, I got some citrus notes in there. But when I taste it, though, it's not overly hoppy. So you know, don't don't start thinking that, that this is like an IPA because it's a pale ale, but not overly hoppy. But but definitely, it, it's nice when you when you take the first sip and that smell kind of goes into your nose as well. I'm going into a little <laughs> a lot of description there, but yeah, we wanted to definitely keep it open for a lot of people to drink. So like you mentioned, you've got a great hop aroma and flavor to it. Um, we really didn't put a whole lot of that bitterness in it. So real nice, drinkable beer. Um, comes in at just four and a half percent too, so one that you can sit down and have a few pints with. Yeah, and we were talking about that before we started the video that, that it's yeah, I could totally see hanging out on the back deck, you know, with a growler full of this and, and cooking out, and yeah. just hanging out with friends because it's only four and a half percent alcohol by volume, so it's you know you can sit down and drink quite a few of these and probably be all right if you're a seasoned <laughs> drinker. But um, but how did the collaboration come together? I mean, did you guys put together the idea of a craft beer week before you decided to collaborate on the beer? Yeah, you know, in the past we've talked about collaborations, but um, when we kind of decided that, you know, hey, we've got some great breweries here in Tuscaloosa, um, let's try and celebrate that in some way. And so the idea of the collaboration um, came together kind of alongside with the Tuscaloosa Craft Beer Week. Okay, so so what does each brewery, I mean, how, how do you come together, just kind of come up with a recipe, with like all of you sitting around in a room? <laughs> all right. The joys of outside. The yeah, video. exactly. So yeah, we um, kind of the three of us sat down, worked together, kind of concepts of first of all what beer style do we want to go with, and um, we wanted to keep it uh, fairly simple, especially this first year, um, as we plan to do this in future years. But um, just you know, something real open, enjoyable for the general public. Um, didn't want to start off with some crazy, wild, off the wall beer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we all sat down, kind of worked out a recipe. Um, what ingredients do we want to use? Um, we ended up brewing a majority of that beer here. Also, uh, Druid City and Band of Brothers did a pilot batch of their places as well, so they'll have it on tap. Very cool. Um, but yeah, we used ingredients from Druid City, brought some, over some stuff. Band of Brothers was here yesterday helping us keg it all. Uh, so it's kind of been a collaboration effort for all of us. Well, very it's been cool. A lot of fun. It's, it's a Tuscaloosa first collaboration beer, the Rising Tide. Uh, all the information about Craft Beer Week on our website at 953thebear.com. But you guys uh, definitely come on by here, give this a shot at all of the places and uh, and take part in this uh, craft beer week because we want to keep this thing going. We've got three great breweries uh, in town now that are, are really making a, a true quality product, each and every one of them. So cheers, craft beer of the week is the rising tide. Cheers. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to get more videos just like this.